Hello everyone, it's me again. I'm on a bit of a roll here. Uh, today I wanted to come back to talking about Ubuntu. Yesterday I did a, a little snap related uh, video. You might see more of those, but uh, I wanted to come back to Ubuntu. And the thing I wanted to talk about here is the many flavors of Ubuntu. Uh, I think being that Ubuntu is the a significant brand in Linux and is quite well known among you know people who know what Linux is they probably know what Ubuntu is uh, but I think sometimes the flavors are not seen in quite the same light obviously they don't have the in inverted commas brand power of Ubuntu and they maybe don't get as much promotion as Ubuntu does but they're all just as awesome and so if you go to the Ubuntu uh, desktop homepage on the old internet, under download here, there's a section for the Ubuntu flavors. And there's a few places where we highlight the Ubuntu flavors. And uh, you can see them all listed down here. And I wanted to talk a little bit about what those flavors are, uh, why they're important, and why they're also super awesome. So there's a wiki page, which uh, <laughs> I noticed uses the American spelling of the word flavors. And the website uses the UK spelling of the word flavors. Never mind. It's all the same thing. I love this picture. It's, uh, it, it really does evoke to me that whole loads of people sitting around together working on the same thing. But they're all drinking slightly different things. You can like, think about sitting with your friends or sitting with your colleagues. One of you might like black coffee. One of you might like cup of tea someone else doesn't like any kind of hot drinks but you're all working together i love that that picture kind of embodies all the flavors of ubuntu so the key thing about flavors is there's this archive of software and the archive that we call it some people call it the repository some people call it the archive the archive is where all the software sits and so there's lots of conversations and there's mailing lists of forums. But some people see the main thing about a Linux distro is what software is in it. And you could argue that, you know, I think there's certainly something to be said for the community and the developers, because without that, you wouldn't have the software. But a core component of what makes a distro is the software in the archive or the repository. And the thing about ubuntu is we have this archive of software i have a mirror here uh, on my local network um and this is just a directory listing but inside here if you drill down enough you'd find these areas of the repository main multiverse restricted and universe and then within those there are directories and you know if you drill down far enough you'll find libraries and packages and source code and, and all kinds of stuff right and this software all put together is the archive and the flavors are built from that software so the developers who work on all these flavors will pick and choose the the software that they want to best represent their flavor and so the standard flavor, the, the stock flavor of Ubuntu, which ships with GNOME, will ship with GNOME Shell, uh, Mutter, and uh, Wayland is in there somewhere, and Xorg as well, and all kinds of other bits and bobs that make GNOME Shell and all the other bits together into Ubuntu. Whereas one of the other flavors, Ubuntu Mate, chooses a different selection of software. Now, a lot of this software comes from other places. The vast majority of it comes from other places. Some of it is packaged in Debian, and some of it is packaged in Ubuntu and is comes from elsewhere, it comes from somewhere other than Debian. It's all compiled, built in Launchpad. Go to launchpad.net slash builders. I love this. It's all built in Launchpad using this this build farm here for multiple architectures and then if it passes various QA and review and so on 
ends up in the archive and turns into these binary packages that end up uh, hosted somewhere in the archive and then the flavors choose what they want to go into their particular version of Ubuntu, whether it's Ubuntu Mate or Kubuntu or any of the others. And all of these developers are working on the same pool of software. So I happen to have picked a library there, lib, libz or libzip or whatever it is. This package is probably used by many of these flavors of Ubuntu. And so people, the developers for all of those flavors are working together. They're not pulling in opposite directions. They're all working on the same corpus of software together. However, what they put on their, their flavor of Ubuntu is their own choice, their own decisions. They can choose their own color schemes. They can choose their own wallpaper. They choose what software goes in. But it's all one central archive of software. And that has benefits because it means that you're not alone when you're working on Ubuntu. You're working with other people and they want to help you. Whereas if you're working on your own in isolation on a, a distro, it's probably quite isolating and it's a lot of work and it's probably quite overwhelming. Yes, you get total control and yes, you get to build the distro exactly as you want. You know, you could choose every version of every package and every color of every icon that you want in your own distro. Uh, but when you're an Ubuntu flavor, you're working with a bunch of other friends, other developers who are working on that pool of software. And that's one thing I love about the Ubuntu flavors. Um, and there's a whole load of them. Um, and the reason I wanted to talk about them was really because um, I think they don't get a lot of limelight sometimes. It's seen that Ubuntu 2004 uh, in April, uh, you know, we talk about Ubuntu is doing a release, but I think what we also need to focus on is what all of those flavors are doing, like the new version of Plasma that's going to be in KDE and the new version of XFCE that's going to be in Ubuntu. And what are the Lubuntu guys doing? You know, these, I think these need focus as well. So over the coming videos, I'm going to be focusing on the flavors as well as playing Ubuntu based on Gnome Shell, because I've done a lot of videos about Gnome Shell, and I think we need to point the spotlight at some of these, uh, these other flavors. And what I'd also like to do is point out that you too can try them out. Uh, if you would like a stable release of one of these flavors, if you go to releases.ubuntu.com or follow that link that I showed you on ubuntu.com slash desktop down here, you can follow these links. You'll end up at the same place. You can get a stable release from here and you can see the links to all of the places where you can get all the flavors. Or if you want to go via the back door, you can go straight to the CD image server, uh, which is where a lot of these are hosted. And you can get an ISO image from there. So let's take, for example, um, um, Kubuntu. And under the releases folder, here are all the stable releases of Kubuntu. But if you wanted to do some testing and help out as we head towards 2004 of all of these flavors, then what you could also do is jump on the ISO tracker and pick a release of one of these flavors and test them out. Try them out. Try them in a VM. Try them on bare metal. Now, obviously, it's still nearly two months away from release, so there may well be bugs. There's stuff landing still now. We're, we're beyond feature freeze, but there's still bugs and fixes are coming in thick and fast. So don't expect it to be you know fully production ready right now because, again, 2004 isn't ready yet. It's not out yet. But I think it's a good idea to get testing on the other flavors because there's a lot of eyeballs on Ubuntu proper, but there's not so many eyeballs on these other flavors. So I, I'm trying to draw your attention towards these. So if you've got some time and you'd like to test these things out, then I strongly recommend trying these out. Look out for the ones that, that have tests that haven't been completed yet. So you can see here, Lubuntu, uh, has two tests and they've both been completed but one of these others might have a set of tests none of which are completed maybe pick on one of those I think it's a good idea to 
reach outside of your box and try something different. It might be that you don't particularly get on well with Kubuntu, but it's a good idea to test it anyway, because then that benefits those people who do like Kubuntu. You might not like Lubuntu, or you might prefer something else. I think it's a good idea to step outside the box. So that's what I'm going to be doing over the next few days of uh, me testing things. I'll be using something other than Ubuntu. Uh, I'll be keen to know uh, what your favorite flavor of Ubuntu is. Let me know in the comments um, if you have a preference. I've certainly seen comments already from people suggesting particular flavors. I think I'll probably do them all, uh, but I think it's a uh, a good idea that everyone has a go at all of the flavors because they're all super awesome. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you at the next one of these where who knows which flavor we're going to use. Well, I do because I've already got them on a USB key, but <laughs> let me know what uh, flavor you prefer in the comments down below. And uh, if you want to, you could subscribe, thumbs up share with your friends. Thanks everyone.